Hi guys, Kirk J. Dan here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today I want to answer a question. A lot of you folks call me and you ask me questions. I get about two to three a month where folks say, gee, I had the, the stucco done and they took it right to the roof, right or wrong. Wrong. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because, see, what this is is a weep screed or a drip screed. Same thing, same purpose. Now, this roof, a, a, a typical roof, this is a 30, they have 50 year roofs. A 30 year roof is designed to last 30 years. Stucco is designed to last a couple hundred centuries. Uh, it lasts forever unless something goes wrong with it. If you take the stucco down to the roof, which I, I see a lot of that, it doesn't mean it's completely wrong, it's just not up to code and not, not too groovy. You don't want to do that. Here's what I recommend to these folks. I say, get a weep screed. Now, grab that side down. Uh, and what we're doing is, you see the flash in here. We're counter flashing that flashing. Find yourself a template, a piece of wood, depending on what, what size. Like I'm just using a two by four and I'm going on the, the lap here. Now Dan will grab that one side, go up under there, Dan. I'll grab this one side. And you want to go under the existing paper. What happens if you have no existing paper? Well, you are in trouble. You have to have existing paper right where you want to be, Dan. Okay, I'll put a staple here. I put a staple there and then what we do is we take paper we shove say for example we start at the bottom and we work our way up and we 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 fish it we back and forth fish it go until you hit what you'll hit is either a stud or not a stud I'm sorry you'll hit a nail or a furry nail or a staple or something like that you fish that one up you put this one you just keep fishing it because you'll hit stuff up there guys you can't see it but it's under there and once you get that done you tack that down you cut it and now you're ready for wire uh, Dan's gonna wire this right after I get done you cut it off get rid of this stuff here Dan actually said, well dad how about I show these folks how to do that and I thought, well, if you're showing everybody how to do it, what am I going to do? I can't work that camera. Dan just happens to be at the age where he's got the magic whiskers. What are magic whiskers? That's, that's when you get these whispers, whiskers on your face. And all of a sudden, like if you ever seen the movie The Matrix, you don't have to plug nothing in. God from heaven above just blesses you with all this knowledge. All of a sudden, with those magic whiskers, you know more about life than your mom and your dad. And he actually knows more about stucco than I do, even though I've been doing this three times as long as he's been alive. But that's besides the subject. What we're going to do is we're going to push this down then. We're going to push it down. And then we're going to wire right on top after we finish with this. And here's another tip, guys. I don't know what city, state, country you're in. But sometimes when I work on Grizzly Peak, or Skyline. Those of you guys in another country just say, what the heck is Grizzly Peak and Skyline? Right now we're up really high in Oakland, California. Uh, point to those mountains, Jay. You guys see up there? It goes higher, much higher than that. It's a cold, dismal day today. And when I'm up there working, what I'll do is I'll put a Sikaflex or a polyurethane caulking on this and then I'll attach this. Why? Because when you're, the higher you are, the higher elevation, you don't just get rain that's vertical. You get rain with 100, 105 mile an hour winds, which creates an effect where it's horizontal. So if we had rain that was going horizontal, it could go right here and go up and down. I've seen it happen. Uh, seen it happen a few times and folks have called me for it. So find yourself a template, counter your um, step flashing because you may want to change that roof and you don't want to break into the stucco. Anyway, guys, you can see down here what Jay's already done. And he's done the other side there. If you're working with your sons or your daughters, watch out for those magic whiskers. I don't think he's talking about Dan with those magic whiskers. <laughs> those magic whispers are kind of cool though. Anyway, my name is Kirk. Jay on the camera, Dan here, my other son. We thank you, for, you guys for watching. And as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you.
My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.